Today I'm going to be setting up my September Franken planner, so if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cecilia and this is Creatively Gracious. Today I'm setting up my September Franken planner. I have my stack of planners here that I've been using. This is the planner that I used for August and I'm just going to probably be changing up the cover. I'm not going to be doing too many different things, but I do want to switch this cover out. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way real quick. Okay, so the cover I am going to be using is this cover here. This is a Marabou Designs cover that it was a collab with Happy Planner some time ago, and I hadn't used it, so I figured I would go ahead and put it to use. I think these are daisies. I may be wrong, but I thought these were daisies, and I know that there are some daisies that bloom in September and October. They're kind of late bloomers, so I thought I would use this cover, and because I hadn't used it, I figured it would be a good time to use it. So that's what I'm using. It says, We Rise by Lifting Others. I was thinking of pairing this with some white disc, but then when I pulled out my planner, I said, well, maybe these discs might go well with it. These are the glitter gold discs. So I'm thinking of taking those off and putting them on here instead of the white ones. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and pull these discs off because I have to take them off this planner. So I'm trying to figure out what's the easiest way to do this. If I take everything off the disc or maybe just even remove the cover and then take sections out as I need to because otherwise I'm going to have to take everything off. So I think I'm just going to remove the covers for now. And then maybe that way you guys can get a glimpse of some of my August stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on here. And because this is kind of, um, it looks black, but it also looks like it could be a really deep navy blue but i think it is black but it has that different color to it so that was another reason i thought i would use it so this one this is a pretty inside cover and i think this will be easier to do it this way because now i can just add in my stuff here so the catch-all planner that i use is this seasonal whimsy planner let me show you the cover that was the cover there um and i used that a couple months ago but I don't necessarily like this divider but I have another seasonal planner so let me go ahead and take a look this was an older seasonal planner that I was using and I have the extras here so let me see what what it looks like for September well that one's cute but let me look here too because this one has September for next year so let me see what that looks like ah it's apples. I don't want apples. I think I'm going to go with this one here. And I think I'm just going to pull the divider. So I'm going to remember that I took the divider out of there. Because I don't really care for this apple divider. Although it does have the little florals now that I'm thinking about it. So should I keep it? Yeah, maybe I will. I'm going to go ahead and pull September out of here. Whoops. Let's take everything out there. Let me move that aside. So let's go ahead and add this in here. I'm going to go ahead and flip through it because some of this stuff, like I mentioned, is going to stay. So here is my name page, which I have not written on. And this is the at a glance calendar. My word of the year will stay and then the perpetual calendar will stay. And then I need to unclip this so I can take this out. Oh, wait, I forgot. This is not the first section that goes in here. Let me grab my monthly. I was thinking, like, what's that doing in there? My monthly. I've been using this monthly. Uh, I added it last month to add an extra section in my planner, and I love the way it turned out. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this, this one in here again. So I need to pull this. Let me move that aside for now. So that's what this is, and I'll give you a quick glimpse. Where did it go? Oh, I didn't use the monthly page, but then what I did here is I used this 
as an area to put all kinds of reminders for all my planners. And I love the way that turned out. I didn't use this section this month, but I did decide to use it as a brain dump. So I'm going to still add it in there. So let me go ahead and pull this out. This is August. And then I'm going to leave this page in here because that's got the September on it. But this is going to come out. And this will come out. So that's coming out. And then I'm going to leave this page because that has a September on the back side of it. So I'm going to set this here. Even though I, I haven't been using that, so I don't even really know if I need that page, but I'm going to leave it there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to leave these pages here, but these pages I'm going to move over to the front of this. Let me see how I want to do this. Yeah, I think I'm going to move it to the front of this and I'm going to use this as a brain dump. And the way I'm going to use it is, I don't know if you guys have read that book, The Artist's Way, where in, in the morning you write down three full pages of just your thoughts, like just thoughts that come to you. And it's supposed to help you, and now I'm just giving you a brief breakdown here, but it's supposed to help you kind of clear your mind. When you do that, it's supposed to allow the creativity to flow. Well, I tried it for a while and quite frankly, I don't have time to write three full pages of my thoughts on a paper. And I know that sounds kind of bad, but it's not so much that I don't have the time. I know that it's not something that I will continually do. So what I'm thinking about these pages is I'm going to just kind of in the morning, I'll grab the planner and I'll just write down the things that pop in my head, whether they're things that I need to do or just things that come up and it'll be a short list. It's not going to be a long list. Hopefully that will give me the same type of effect. I know it's not as in detail as the artist way, but maybe it will get some things out of my mind that I know I have to do for that day. And then it'll just let my mind flow with other things. So that's the idea. So that's what this is going to be. So I'm going to probably put a dashboard here for the brain dump. And I did pull a couple dividers here. So I think I'm going to use this one here and that's going to be for the brain dump. And we'll see how that works. I don't know how it's going to work, but that's what I'm going to use it for because I wasn't really using the pages over here anyway. So this will be the September monthly dashboard. And again, this is just where I write all my reminders, kind of things that I want to do for each of the planners. But I have a section that I put here for faith. I have a section for projects. I have a section for social media. And, and then the other sections I just kind of add in as I go along. So that's what that's going to be used for. So let me take out August here. I'll give you guys a quick glimpse of August. So let me take out August here and then I need to put in uh, September. And I might use this, this dashboard too because I can use that. It's yellow and it works well. I'm going to use that one too. Now is where we put this guy here. So let me, I'm going to have to put this in front here. Well, actually two pages. And I was thinking about pulling a different dashboard for September, but then because this has the yellow kind of floral in there, I figured it would go good. So I'm going to leave it in there like that. So this is going to be my September catch-all. And this is just a tad bit different than what I'm used to, the way I'm planning this. And then I think I'm going to take this one out. And this is a page I set up for my social media schedule. It's kind of like a, just a little reminder of things. In last month's planner, I had it really plain and I decided to go ahead and kind of spice it up with some stickers. So that's what I did. And I used this weekly page. It's an old happy planner page from some time ago. So that's what I used for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in here just to kind of separate the social media. And then for social media, I have my perpetual calendar in here. I probably should put a name page in here. I will probably grab that. I'm going to put the name page back in here. 
So that's going to be for social media. And then here is, well, this was July. This was August. So this was my old one. I'm going to take that out. And then here's August. So I need to take this out. Actually, I should be leaving this page in here because I'm not quite done with the month yet. So let's put that there. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I don't want to use that one. I think, I think I'm going to use this one here. So let's go ahead and add in September here. The planner I use for my social media is this dashboard planner. It's an older one and I've been using it. It's been working well, so I haven't switched anything out for it. I don't really like this divider, but I may switch it out. We'll see. We'll see. So this is just a dashboard planner and it is the older dashboard planner, but that's what I use. I don't know. I pulled this one, but I don't think I want to use that. Let me grab my um, dashboard book real quick. And this is my dashboard book. I have all my dashboards in here. I know there was one, this one, I was thinking of using this one, so maybe I'll pull that out. Let me put this aside in case I need any more of those. So I think this one will be for social media. Okay, so there is the social media dashboard section. And I'm going to leave this one in here because I really like this dashboard. And then this is my chore section. Nothing's going to change in here. This is what I use for my chores. And then next is meal plans. I have already pulled out my list that I've written on. But I use this weekly meal plan and then this one here. Since I'm doing this a little different, I had to switch. I had to take out that old budget stuff that has all my stuff written on it. So I have my monthly sheet here along with some weekly expense sheets that I turn into monthly expenses. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. That's what I'll be using for September. And then here is my Thanksgiving uh, savings. And I put little dots on, on the numbers that I have, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fill that in while I'm here. So I'm thinking, what color to use. I have my mild liners here, so I think I'm going to just kind of fill these in real quick. Oh, no, I can't do it with the mild liner. Okay, I'm going to come back to that. So I need to fill these in, but uh, we're at, we just finished week 10, I believe. Oh, week 10. So here's another one. So I need to fill those in. So uh, that's what that is. And then I'm going to take this one out. This is where I put my receipts, but I'm going to take that one out and I'm going to add in a new one. This is the one I'm putting in here. So that's the budget section. And then we move to the projects. Nothing's going to change in the project section. This is what I use for my projects in case you haven't seen my other videos. But I do like these pages for projects. And then here's just a to buy list that I have going there for my projects. And then over here is my list. Let's see, do I want to switch this out? Let me see what I have here. Since that says my list already, I'm wondering if I should leave it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that one in there. Actually, I'm gonna take this one out now and I'm gonna put this one in here. It's a big one, but that's okay. I think it'll work. Work okay. Actually, I wonder if I should move this to the other side here. No, I like that one. Okay, that'll be my list. And what I have back here is like my password tracker and some other lists that I keep in here. So that's all that is. And then here is my personal section for my hand lettering. So I think I'm going to take this guy out. And let me pull this back in to see which dashboard I could use, if any. Maybe I'll use that Mickey Mouse. Maybe I'll use this one here. Pull in. Oops. So I think I'll set that one here. 
and I actually did not do much practicing for my hand lettering in August, but I do need to get back to it. I haven't been practicing too much, but I need to get back at it. So I am definitely going to be using this section in September. What else do we have back here? These are just some samples of my lettering, different styles of lettering. So that's what that is back here. And... And then I added these sheets in here. Oh, I know why I added these sheets in here. I added these in because there was a day in August where I just completely, I don't know what happened, but I was feeling really off. So I wanted to add these in there to document that. And, and I actually just used a piece of mini paper instead because this had all these prompts. But that's why these are in here. Oh, it was this paper here. So I just wrote some notes on there and put it in there so that if I look back at it, it's in there and I know and then I just have some extra sheets here I have my line it up tabs I have a folder in here I'm going to take this folder out and I'm hoping that happy planner comes out with some new folders because I'm using the same ones over and over and then this is just my sticky note tabs which I need to put more sticky notes on there I pulled them out and I actually didn't put them on so I have them so I need to do that and let's give this another whirl. I'll put my, my folder stuff in there at a later time, but I'm just going to give this another flip through and see if there's anything I want to switch out. But I think it looks pretty with these clear discs with the glitter gold because of the gold in the flower. So let's just give it a quick flip through here. But I think it's going to be good for September. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay. So we have my name page, we have my word of the year, perpetual calendar, and then we go to this new brain dump section that's going to be my brain dump so every morning I can come in here and just kind of dump what's in my mind and then hopefully that's going to help flow with creativity. Oh, what, did I, what am I missing here? I'm missing something here. I'll have to find a sheet to put there. And then, how did I get October in here? Oh, because this is the end of September. And then these two I'm going to paper clip together. Just like that. I might switch that paper clip out later. And here we have September. I really don't like this dashboard. But this is just for... Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to move this back. I wanted it to be separate, but I'm going to just move it back to where it goes. And I can just use, I can still use it as a brain dump. It's just going to be in its own little section, in, in the same section with the monthly dashboard. I just leave it like that, I think. That way it doesn't seem so weird. Okay, so here's September. And I'll still have to paper clip this together like that. Okay, here's September. I don't know if I want to change out that dashboard or that divider. And then here we have my, I call this a dashboard, monthly dashboard that I'll use for all my planners. And then this will be the brain dump. So I did move that. And then here is September. And then it goes to October because this is the end of that one. So I need to find the, okay, I forgot to put the September page in here. So I'm going to have to clip that together. So I'm going to use this white one for now. I always forget about these these currently pages when I'm doing my setups. I don't know why, but I do tend to forget about them. Probably because I don't use them. So then this is my catch-all section. And then we move into the social media section. And I have a dashboard to separate that out. And then here is that page I made. So I'm wondering... I think what I'm going to do is move this. So this will be the start of the social media. And then I'm going to set this here on, right in front of the divider for the new month. Because this is the last month of the week that I'm still working on. So that's why that's still in there. But what I will do is eventually just paper clip this together. And then here we go. Here's September. Again, I don't know if I like this divider. I may switch it out. Let's see what we have here. Because it's an 18 month. Let's see if I have I put this one in here. 
since I already have apples in there, I might as well. I'm going to put this one in here and paper clip it together. So I don't really care for that pink in this planner right now. Okay, so we'll leave that like that in its September. We'll move into September. And then, so here is the monthly, and then you have the dashboard. And then from there, we go into my chores, and I just use the same dashboard. And then there's the chores, there's the meal plan, there's the budget, my envelopes, and my projects. And then we go to, this is my list. So these are all my list here. And then this is my hand lettering section and some extra pages back here. And then I have my check it off stencils and my envelope and my sticky notes. So that's going to be it guys. Whoops. So that's it guys. That is everything for my Franken planner setup. And I think it looks good with this cover, at least for the month of September. It looks good with those discs. So I am happy with it. So let me know what you think in the comments of my new Franken Planner setup. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. Stay creative, be gracious, and I will plan again with you soon.